Interestingly, a lot of Republicans have done a 180 on Senate candidate Roy Moore, but Mitt Romney is not one of them. So at a rally for Moore yesterday, the man who's been supporting Moore from day one went after Mitt Romney. Romney. And so former President Steve Bannon uh, <laughs> took issue with... Uh, <laughs> what? Me. Well, I, because I believe that <laughs> Bannon has been running the government since the election. <laughs> but that's just me. But here's a clip of what he that's said. Take a look. <laughs> and now I'm going to get personal. You, had, you ran for commander-in-chief. You had five sons. Not one day of service in Afghanistan and Iraq. We have 7,000 dead and 52,000 casualties. And where were the Romneys during those wars? Judge Roy Moore has more honor and integrity in that pinky finger than your entire family has in his whole DNA. So now, you know, you could have, you could have, you could have actually had this conversation about the man who's sitting in the White House now. Because I don't believe, I mean, I don't, wait. I don't believe, I mean, you could have had this conversation about any number of people. Wait, wait, wait. But should there... I thought we don't like people who are captured. <laughs> Come on. I mean, I thought that's the same people. I'm sorry. Like, who the hell are you to be sitting here and talking about service, what your administration said about my father? Take a seat. <laughs> yeah. Let me just take this for a minute, ladies, yeah, if you don't do. mind, Joy. Do. First of all, just let me take this. First of all, I don't like service shaming in general. I think it, people are called to serve when they're called to serve. They're not when they're not. I, I don't like doing that in general. Mm -hmm. It is very hypocritical after what President Trump said about my father. Never apologized, by the way. Still haven't gotten an apology. Still haven't, no. still haven't gotten an apology from apology. it. So give me a break. It's, it's, uh -huh. He did. Steve Bannon did serve. He was in the <laughs> Navy for a long period of time. What's fascinating about this is Steve Bannon is so threatened by Mitt Romney right now. There's a lot of rumors that Mitt Romney is going to end up running first. Senate in Utah if Orrin Hatch set, steps down. He's the current wow. senator, longest serving senator in mm -hmm. history. I think it's eight terms, or again, recent history. Right. And what's fascinating about it is if Mitt Romney gets in, and he's indescribably popular in Utah, mm -hmm. it will be a non-Bannon candidate that's a shoe in in the Senate. And yeah. Steve Bannon don't like he that. Don't like it. And by the way, Breitbart traffic, his website that's super powerful. It's down 20% compared to last year, and they have a sharp decline, nearly 90% in the number of advertisers. So if Roy Moore loses, which again, now, I mean, I still think he'll ultimately win, but if he does, it will neuter his power right now. So he's running scared right now. But you know, I, I, when we were talking, I was asking you this in, in the uh, makeup room. Why is Steve Bannon so powerful? I mean, he left the White House. I know he was like the strategist, the chief strategist, whatever that is. But why he left, I thought maybe he was kicked out and he would become less powerful. And now he still seems to have well, his power. Well, he also has Trump's Why ear that? every day. Well, he Trump does he really? Yeah, that's what they say. Do well, you think that? The inside the palace walls rumors, there are always rumors that, like, Jared and Bannon didn't get along and Ivanka didn't like him, whatever. He okay. is the person who tapped into the populist anger at a, at a young point. Right. And what's so sad is Andrew Breitbart would be rolling in his grave if he knew what turned into his website. He was such a, a provocative, interesting man. I would have loved to have seen him. He passed away from a heart attack. Mm -hmm. Live and see what he would have done with Trump because I don't believe he would have liked his candidacy. So I, he still has a lot of power, but it's yeah. waning. That kind of speech shows me yeah. that they're well, a little the nervous. are Mormon, and each of those boys, they do mission trips. Yeah, right. They're like, That's they're different they ways. Is it fair for him to have gone after Romney's kids? <gasps> well, is that, is not, that, when, not, no. when, not when wrong, not when Hans and Fritz, Fritz haven't gone anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> what about those two? Trump's and how about Joanne Abbott? Trump said that his Vietnam was avoiding an STD. I mean, the hypocrisy. How yeah. deep can the hypocrisy Everybody go? Everybody thinks in this that I, I defend Trump all the time and defend, and I do at times when this stuff starts coming. When you're talking about whose military service is right, whose is wrong. You said you don't like people who are captured, who spent five and a half years getting tortured in prison. Mm -hmm. You still haven't apologized. So you don't have a lot of leeway with me talking about it. Yeah. And you know what I loved about when um, when when your dad was here. Oh, sorry. Are we out of time? Okay. Guys, thank you for letting me have my rant today on this. Well, this makes my skin on, on this, it is absolutely imperative that you do. Yeah. We'll be right back. Thank you.